Hello friends, this video is for assignment cycle September 2024, semester 1 of all the streams, subject is management theory and practice. So first question is, um, Dr. Rohit Mahajan, a promising young researcher has secured a prestigious research grant. However, climbing the, uh, climbing the funds requires nav navigating a complex bu bureaucratic maze within the university administration. Long forms, unclear procedures, and seemingly endless approvals threaten to delay his crucial project. In light of this case, what principles of bureaucratic management um, must Rohit consider? Please elaborate on the relevant principles of bureaucratic management. Let's see. Bureaucratic management, we can find it in chapter 3, page number 9. Oh, sorry, <laughs> chapter 1, page number 9. bureaucratic management um, administrative management yeah i think you have a brief information in the bureaucratic management since it's 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 um, a case study what has been given you can uh, you can provide your answer around the bureaucratic management for rohit margin okay i've i've tried to give you some uh, uh, basic points like um, form rules and regulations like hierarchy of authority um, division of labor in personality how the bureaucratic uh, management works so certain points are here these these are some points not limited to it so you can try to work towards this direction uh, to elaborate it and then for rohit what you can do is to suggestions like uh, understand the grant requirements, map the university bureaucracy, prepare detailed documentation, engage with bureaucracy, seek uh, guidance and support. So these are like uh, some points. Um, go ahead and explore about some more points and suggest based on your own experiences. You might have faced some situations and how you have overcome uh, when you have been uh, taken up any kind of a projects or any kind of a, um, um, assignments in your university so what kind of uh, problems you faced so keep in mind those and try to uh, answer your own uh, way also here okay let's move to question two the marketing manager alex is implementing a complex communication policy with a lengthy approval process for email and call documents this coincides with the new ceo who rarely interacts with lower level people i mean employees creating a sense of isolation and lack of transparency. How do these communication barriers affect employee morale, engagement and productivity? How can these communication barriers be fixed to improve communication flow? Okay, let's see the answer. We can see the barriers of business communication in chapter 5. 107 barriers to business communication. This is what are the barriers you can take up and then measures to overcome barriers measures to overcome barriers so it's it is not a very straightforward answer so you have to look uh, um, particularly like if you are a working professional you will understand how it affects the morale and engagement and uh, how it affects the productivity like if you are not able to connect with your top management easily um, how detached or how uh, it affects your productivity. So certain points with your personal experience will be very much uh, um, appreciated in this answer as a real world examples also. Okay. Moving on with the question three, Mohit, a store manager at a university cafeteria faces two challenges. First, he needs to order enough food items like sandwiches and salads to meet daily demand which fluctuates based on class schedules. Second, a new student group has requested for a specialized vegan menu option. Mohit has two uh, decisions to deal with. First, how much of each standard food item he should order. Second, whether he should implement the new vegan menu option. So in the question one is, which of the above two decisions fall under the programmed or non-programmed categories? Explain your answer. Then in B, we have... <laughs> What are the benefits and drawbacks of each decisions in this situation? Okay. For the question A, 
you can see in um, chapter 6 126 so here types of managerial decisions based on the level management based on the nature of decisions you can uh, write a brief about it and uh, difference between the programmed and non programmed you can pick up 127 yeah this is the next one difference programmed and non programmed then for the part b standard food and other one um, since it's in a case study, you don't have a direct answer to it. Uh, I've just tried to point out certain points, but it's not limited. Again, you can do it your own way. Standard food is efficiency, pre uh, predictability, cost control, fluctuation, fluctuating demand, uh, inflexibility. So when you're going for the vegan menu, then market differentiation, innovation, customer loyalty. Um, but the problem is uncertain demand, resource allocation and complexity. So certain points I have just tried to list on, you can uh, write down your own points and elaborate on it. Okay, So you have to come close to 500 words. And again, uh, stressing on the point again and again, that do not copy anything from any sites or anywhere. Just read it everywhere. You can refer it and write it in your own words. Okay, All the best, everyone. Thank you.